Is Gran Turismo 7 Sophie AI actually better than Forza AI? Is Sophie really the best AI you can get in sim racing or is it overblown? I've had my suspicions that it's a little bit overblown from the incredible test demo that we had previously. So I'm doing the ultimate comparison here at Le Mans in the same car in both. And on the left hand side of the screen, we can see obviously Gran Turismo with the Sophie emojis on the right hand side we have Forza. This is going to be ultimate comparison and I've needed the ultimate equipment. So big thanks to GT Mega, by the way, for sponsoring this video. You can see I'm in the GT Mega Prime rig, which means that everything is super bolted down and stable. Honestly, if you're looking for a sim rig for Black Friday or Christmas, check out the GT Mega offers on their website, gtmega.com and use the code Kirith5 at checkout if you want to get yourself an extra 5% discount. Thanks so much GT Mega for sponsoring this video. But you can see here, Caruso in the Gran Turismo one, trying to go up the inside. Now let's look at Forza. Well, here we can see in Forza that the AI is actually, and this might be a bit surprising, is a lot more processional than Gran Turismo. There's a lot more driving in a straight line. There's a lot more of very similar lines being taken, not drivers peeking out, trying to have a go, or getting offline, which I found actually very, very surprising. Meanwhile, in Gran Turismo world, Caruso, oh no, hang on, am I going to save it as a car comes around? Yes, indeed. Caruso seems like a real rival here. We had a bit of contact and the emojis have been popping off. Ruiz looks to be quite conservative, so we'll get past Ruiz here. Maybe he doesn't want to damage his career at RS, but you can see Caruso up there. Look at Caruso. The AI swerving all over the shop. Hang on a second. Viewers, that is actually... See, now I want to dice with Caruso. Now, we're on the um, the, uh, the the worst tyres, basically, on this car. I've bitten off a bit more than I can chew there. I mean, I'm struggling here in the Nissan to control this car on the tyres. But I really want to catch up with Caruso because I feel like a dice with him could be the essence of that Sophie AI experience that I have missed until now, but I, I genuinely feel like this could be the race. It looks like they have a really fast car and they're being quite aggressive into it. Coming into Mulsanne now. It's going to be quite progressive on the brakes. Oh, dearie, dearie me, dearie me, I've gone very wide here. Get back on the tarmac. Oh, no, no, no. And they all, you get pings in like we're back at Las Vegas for the Formula One as they all get past me. There's Caruso up there. Can we get past him? Now back to Forza. So you might have noticed that I had the world's biggest crash in Forza Motorsport and it really got me thinking, what is the purpose of AI in single player racing? For me, it gives a layer of authenticity or good AI does that it feels like you're not being cheated. We've all been in racing games where there's rubber band AI and suddenly the illusion of close racing falls apart. Now, neither the Forza AI nor the Sophie AI should be using rubber banding, and hopefully they're gonna give me an authentic racing experience we will see. So in Forza now, I'm desperate to come through the pack. I'm desperate to learn how to drive my car better because I feel like I'm having a fair chance here at winning this race. And that, to me, is the essence of good AI in racing games. And I have to say in Gran Turismo, one of the really interesting things about this concept is normally, I would not drive this car. I wouldn't really... There's a there's an inherent issue with Gran Turismo in that it doesn't really reward you driving road cars unless you're doing one of the ridiculous glitches that to me seems to sell out of the game. But it doesn't seem to reward you driving road cars until now. Obviously, you get the Sophie difficulty bonus as well. But here I'm actually having to wrestle with a car that doesn't really have a lot of aerodynamic grip and doesn't have a lot of mechanical grip and doesn't have a lot of tyre grip. And it's a new challenge for me, as you can see. You can't just absolutely stamp on the brakes like you would in a GT3 car as we run wide there. I can still just see Caruso. I think we can get them if we drive well. But this is bringing me into the world of road cars and that's a huge untapped sort of vein of gold Oh my goodness me, in Gran Turismo. You can see me here really struggling with it. I might just cut the chicane here if I'm not going to get reset. Oh, I got reset. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it, all the Sophies are absolutely loving it. It's going to be Mission Get Caruso. We're fighting again with another Carrera um, RS there. 
But it's making me drive these road cars in the more of a challenge state. I feel more like I'm in a race. Um, this feels very different to the Sophie experiences I've had before. I have to say. Maserati coming up. Oh, dearie me. It's a hell of a cut there. Don't know if I'm going to be slapped with a big old penalty. There's Caruso causing chaos. I mean... Hopefully Caruso comes on start. Now, we, we've had one lap that's been very chaotic. Can we now have a smoother lap? As we just take a new line through that corner. The MotoGP line. Now, I believe the penalty line is just up here. So, we have accrued some penalties. They will come up. Let's see. Although, maybe there aren't any penalties enabled. Right, let's get back to Forza. So we talked about the AI in Gran Turismo. What about the AI in Forza? Well, one thing that I do like is the personality that the AI drivers you're racing against do have in terms of the cars they're driving. Obviously, it's based on the driver tar system, so it's meant to be erasing people's AI, but we know that's rubbish. It's not how it works. But you can see here, we're up behind another Nissan Z, and they've got a different paint job down the back of the car, some decals as well. Behind there was a Lexus with a big rear wang. And that, again, vibes it up a little bit. You don't get in that Gran Turismo. In Gran Turismo, you don't get different liveries in single player. I guess they're worried about choosing from a pool of liveries in the games that might be obscene. Thinking of you, Kimi Vellicini. But the AI in Forza, aside from the different cars, is actually a bit more bland. I'm not having quite as much an exciting... I look really bored, don't I? I look really bored. I'm not having as an exciting experience in Forza as I am in Gran Turismo. That might just be the dynamics of the race. Obviously, we've got the cut through in Le Mans in Forza. But there's something about the emoji system as we spin the car on left-hand side that sort of rubs it in when they get past you. You can hear it all dinging away. It's nice to see that they're worried when you're coming up behind. And it makes Forza look a little bit boring and old-fashioned, which is not how it normally goes with Gran Turismo and Forza. So the Forza experience is a lot more stock. It's certainly not letting the AI shine. This is actually on the hardest... AI difficulty setting in Forza, by the way. So on both games, I'm running the hardest difficulty setting. But the fundamental point is, it's, it's getting me to drive a different car and making that a compelling experience. It's basically the set dressing around the centerpiece, the centerpiece being driving the car itself. I don't think we should focus too much on the AI offering this mythical experience. So that, that is what I'm trying to get on the left-hand side there. I'm trying to race Caruso, and I, I think that could be the Holy Grail. Is kind of what we had in the uh, Sophie beta test momentarily when it was available. But the right hand side is a lot more of a solid repeatable concept where you're going to race against solid AI. You don't feel like you're being cheated. They each have their own sort of personality in terms of the cars they're driving. But are they going to run you wide? No. Are they going to dive bomb you? No. Is it going to be a bit more of an internet experience in that respect? Absolutely yes. Does Sophie offer more of a potentially exciting opportunity absolutely yes but we'll see how these races progress because we're going to get onto the last lap here at Le Mans and actually both these races might be pretty close let's see right back to Gran Turismo and I can just see Caruso over the crest I was driving better but I had another moment where I just snatched the car and I'm really enjoying this actually I'm, I'm understanding now how to drive this car I need to brake more in a straight line as you need to do in road cars as I've done in real life and I've raced these sort of cars. So let's see here, coming into the Porsche curves, can't just do a lot of really easy trail braking. Just slow the speed down and be smooth off the brake. Get that body weight nicely balanced, especially in here. Feel the weight transfer. And this isn't that the AI, I'm not battling the AI at this moment in time, although we will very soon, obviously. But it's more the fact that I'm in what appears to be a compelling race that is really, in an authentic and genuine way, forcing me to really drive the car better. There's Caruso. He's going for the lead. Straight line braking, my friend. There's a Coontash head of his. So I was snatched on it a bit too much that time. Try and cut the contest back. There we go. <coughs> but there's Caruso. He's got in the lead. And I feel like that AI, although he seems to struggle there around the corner, maybe because so much weight transfer. Let's really try and get into Caruso here. It's 
smooth off. Obviously, we're not going to be going GT3 speeds. That's okay. We're not expected to. Let's just get on the Mulsanne and see if we can get into Caruso. And it's sort of the holy grail moment of AI racing could be waiting for us there. Oh, they're going side by side. Tetra Rouge. Actually, not a bad line. And go through the gear. So Caruso is now in the lead. I feel like they're my nemesis. I'm having a compelling single player racing experience. I don't need to be online. That, that guy ran me off. I'm going to get him back. No, I'm having that sort of experience offline. That's exactly what AI racing should do. And oh, look at look at the way he's defending there. Goodness me. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Breaking a straight line hard and fair. Let's go. Might be too deep. Look at the way the car just absolutely squirrels under braking. Ah, oh, what a race. What a race. Come on. Come on, viewers. That's a really weird field of view effect when I do that. Look at the screen. Okay, this is where we snatched it last time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, I want to dice with Caruso. And now. Third gear, soft release. Weight transfer, wait for it, wait for it. Yes. Caruso's in the lead. That might be a Pantera behind him. That might catch him before Molsan. Go on, red car. Want to see how Caruso's going to defend. Now, we have Binder and Molsan before. I owe it to you, my viewers, who've watched it to this point so far. If you've watched it this far, put a pair of sunglasses in the chat. Put a sunglasses emoji so I know when I'm reading all of your comments. Oh, I think we might get this! Indianapolis and Arnage, and then we might have a battle through the Porsche curves. Am I having as good an experience as Forza? Well, Forza reporting in here, and every race is different, we know that. And I have to say, there are more AI cars than Forza, 24 cars, which has been good for me because I've been at the same time. There's a car facing the wrong way! So a bit of excitement, and you can see I'm basically overcome with excitement here. I'm just so excited. But the honest truth is, in these two races, I'm having a better race in Gran Turismo. The last lap is just building so nicely, but it's not a fair comparison. I think in Forza, you could still have experiences like this, but even if I was chasing down some cars in Forza, I wouldn't feel as excited because a, a Caruso in Gran Turismo has created some sort of personality. It's a GT40, isn't it? But look at Caruso. I can't stand letting them win. I can't stand it. Come on, Nissan. We can't let a people carrier win this race. Come on, Nissan. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of our way. Get out of our way. Oh, what can we do here with Caruss? What can we do? Oh, no. <laughs> I couldn't stay. Where are they? No. <laughs> Look what they made me do. Look what the AI made me do. Well, I have to say, coming down to the last corner like it's Las Vegas on Gran Turismo. So, you don't normally get that even on the hardest normal difficulty. So, Sophie AI, in fact, a lot of my races have come down to the last corner with Sophie. And if you want to see another one of those, have a look at this video in the link below here. Because if you want to see some more Sophie AI, wow, that was very, very, very impressive.